We're on problem 185. 185. Car X and car Y traveled in the same traveled the same 80 mile route. If car X took two hours, so X went 80 miles, 80 miles in two hours, and that's 40 miles per hour, miles per hour. And car Y traveled at an average speed that was 50% faster than the average speed of car X. So 50% faster. So Y went 50% faster than X. So 50% faster times 40 miles per hour. Well, that's 40 plus 20. That's equal to 60 miles per hour. How many hours did it take car Y to travel the route? So distance is equal to rate times time. 80 miles is the distance. The rate is 60 miles an hour. So the time is equal to 80 over 60, which is equal to 1 and 20 over 60, which is equal to 1 and 1 third hours. And that's what they have there. They have choice C. I thought they might have 1 hour and 20 minutes written. Next problem, 186. If the average of the four numbers k, 2k, plus 3, 3k minus 5, and 5k, 5k plus 1 is 63, what is the value of k? So let's just average the numbers. k plus 2k plus 3 plus 3k minus 5 plus 5k plus 1. And that was four numbers. So I'm going to divide by four. And that is equal to 60, sorry, 63. So let's set up all the k's. I have 1k plus 2k is 3k. So 1k plus 2k is 3k. 6k, 8k. So I get 8k. And then I get 3 minus 5 is minus 2. Plus 1 is minus 1. And if you multiply the 4 times the 63, if we just multiply both sides of this equation by 4, you get what? 4 times 63. 4 times 63 is 252. Let me think about that. 4 times 60 is 240 plus 12. Yeah, 252. 252. And then 8k would be equal, add 1 to both sides, 253. And so k is equal to 253 divided by 8. Let's see what that is. 8 goes into 253. 8 goes into 25 three times. 3 to 24. Right down, it goes 1 time. 1 times 8 is 8. You have a remainder of 5. So it's 31 and 5 eighths is k. And that is not one of the choices. Let me see where I made a mistake. So the average of k, 2k plus 3, 3k minus 5, and 5k plus 1. And that's four numbers, right? And that's four numbers. What is the value of k? All right, so I add up the four numbers, and I divide by 4, and they should be equal to 63. So maybe I just made a mistake in the, in the simplification. So I have k plus 2k is 3k, 3k plus 3k is 6k. Oh, 6k plus 5k is 11k. I don't know what I was. That's 11k. And then you have 3 minus 5, which is minus 2, plus 1, minus 1. So 11k minus 1. So this is 11k. This is 11k. And so k is equal to 253 divided by 11, which is 11 goes into 253. Let's see, 2 times 22. 33, oh, that's nicer, goes in exactly 23 times. And that's choice D. Sorry for the error. Next question, 187. If P is an integer, P is even. OK, P even. And they're telling us Q is odd. Which of the following must be an odd integer? OK, so they give us a bunch of a bunch of things. So an even times an odd. Well, by definition, that's going to be even. Why is that? Well, you could view it as th this. If, if you multiply p times q, if p is even, that means that p is divisible by 2, right? So if 
2 is one of the factors of p, it's definitely going to be one of the factors of p times q. So this one will not be odd. Let me think about it. If I add an even plus an odd, that gives me an odd. That gives me an odd. So let's see if any of the choices are that. Well, let's see. We p divided by q, an even divided by an odd does not necessarily an even well, this is an interesting one. 2p plus q. That's choice c. Now, if p is even, well, it doesn't matter whether p is even or not, but 2p is actually definitely going to be even. right? This is going to be even, and q, we already know, is odd. So this is an even plus an odd, so it's going to be odd. So the choice is c. And we could even prove it a little bit. If you say that p is equal to 2 times some number k, right? We don't know what that is. And we say that q is equal to 2 times some number, I don't know, m plus 1. Then what does this simplify to? This simplifies to 2 times p, which is 2 times some number k. We don't know what k is. Plus q, which is 2 times some number m plus 1, some integer m. So this becomes 4 times some number k plus 2 times some number m plus 1 well 4 times some number k that's the same thing as that's the same thing as 2 times some other number n i'm just making you know it's, it's 2 times some other integer where n is twice of what k is right plus 2m plus 1 and this is the same thing as 2 times n plus m and i remember n m k these are all just ran, these are just integers right plus 1. And so if n and m are integers, then we could say, well, that's just equal to 2 times some other integer. Let's call it l plus 1. And this would be an odd number, right? Because this is even, and then you're adding 1 to an even number. But you didn't have to do that. You just have to recognize that an odd plus an even is equal to an odd. Choice C. Next problem. 188. 188. Drum x is one full is one half full of oil. So x is one half full. And and drum y, which has twice the capacity of drum x, is two thirds full. So y is two thirds full and has two times x capacity. If all of the oil in drum x is poured into drum y then drum y will be filled to what fraction of its capacity? OK. So if x is 1 half full, right? So x is equal to 1 half, one half of its, well, let me think of the best way to write this algebraically. x is 1 half full, which would be, and y is twice as big, right? So if you poured all of this 1 half into y, it would contribute to one fourth of y's capacity, right? I guess another way we could say we could say capacity of x is equal to one half the capacity of y, right? So one so if we were to say one half the capacity of x, if we were to multiply both sides of this by one half, that's equal to one fourth the capacity of y. So this one half that's equal to one half the capacity of x which is equal to 1 fourth the capacity of y. So if we add 1 fourth of the capacity of y to 2 thirds of the capacity of y, right? That's 2 thirds full, that's another way of saying 2 thirds times the capacity of y. What do we get? We get 1 fourth plus 2 thirds, which is equal to, get a common denominator, 12, 3 fourths plus 8 twelfths. Plus 8 twelfths, right. Three 3 twelfths plus 8 twelfths, that's 2 thirds, so you get 11 twelfths. So y would be 11 twelfths full of its capacity. So that is choice C. That is choice C. Problem 189. 189. If x is greater than 0, x over 50 plus x over 25 is what percentage of x. So this is equal to so you get a common denominator. This is equal to over 50. x over 50 is x over 50. x over 25 is 2x over 50, right? So that is equal to 3x over 50. 
which is the same thing as 3 fiftieths x. And that's the same thing as, since we want it as a fraction of 100, right? Since we want to do a percentage, that's the same thing as if we multiply the top and the, the numerator and the denominator by 2, you get 6 over 100x, which is equal to 0.06x, which is equal to 6% of x. And that's choice A. Anyway, see you in the next.